In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Excel user form with checkboxes. The first thing you need to do is click on Visual Basic, right click on Microsoft Excel Objects, hover over Insert, select User Form. If you do not see the toolbox, go to View, Toolbox. You will now see options for adding stuff to your form. In this case, we want to add checkboxes. So let's click that button. Now we will drag the checkbox to the appropriate size. For this example, we're going to add three checkboxes. You'll notice in the properties window over here, you can change properties on your checkboxes. The most common thing you'll probably change is the checkbox name, which is how it's referred to in Visual Basic, and the caption, which is actually what it says on the form. In this case, we'll just leave them the same. The next thing we'll want to do is add a command button to click to execute our macro. And on this, we'll change the name to be something a little bit more befitting. We'll call it, or excuse me, we'll change the caption. We'll leave the name the same. Let's call it Execute. Now that we're, we created our form, we're ready to create some code for it. Click on your module. In this case, I've already created some code. Um, you'll kind of notice the basic structure of it. The first thing you need to do to reference a checkbox is specify its form. In this case, user form 1, the name of the checkbox. And the most important thing to know with wor when working with checkboxes is how to tell in Visual Basic whether it is checked or unchecked. If the value of the checkbox is true, that means it is checked. If it is false, that means it is unchecked. In this case, you'll notice that we are checking to see if the checkbox is checked. If it is checked, we are calling a macro below to display a message box saying that it is checked. So now, we're ready to go back to our user form and assign the onExecute macro to run when the button is clicked. To do this, double click on the execute button we created earlier. You'll now see another code window pop open. And you'll want to add code in here to call our on execute macro. That's all we want to do here. Let's close this window. So now we're ready to show our form. To do this, we'll want to go back to Module 1 and add a new macro. We'll call this macro Show Form. We will put our user form name, user form 1 in this case, dot show. This will open our user form. So now, let's close out of everything in Visual Basic and test out our form. Now that we're ready to test out our user form, click Macros. Click our Show Macro we created earlier to open our form. Click Run. You should now see the form come up. Let's try checking some of the boxes to see if it works correctly. As you can see, the code is only running for the particular checkboxes checked. Works perfect every time. Congratulations, you've created your first user form with checkboxes. For more help with Excel and VBA and other interesting tutorials, be sure and visit my website, johnhouse.hubpages.com.